What's up everybody? It's Allison. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going through my Best of Beauty 2017. I kind of show you a little bit of everything, a little bit of hair products, skin products, a bunch of makeup. Honestly, I don't even know where to start, which category I should start in. I guess I will just say as far as hair products, this wig, and this is why I'm wearing it in the video, is probably one of my favorite purchases of 2017 as far as hair products go. And yeah, I'll call it a hair product. I love this wig. I don't wear it like all the time, but I'm very glad that I purchased it. I just think it's so pretty. I did learn that you need to take very good care of it, especially if you wear it when you're going like to a party or something like that. Don't get too out of control. Forget about it and let it sit on your dresser and not brush it out because that's kind of what I dealt with today. I did purchase this from Bellamy Hair. This is a collaboration with Nikita Dragon who is a YouTuber, beauty influencer, whatever you want to call it. I've just been wanting to do something different so why not splurge on something like a wig, right? Now the wig was $160 but it's going to last me a really long time as long as I take care of it. So I don't have too many hair products that are like my favorite for 2017 but something that I did receive in 2017 as far as hair products go that I really fell in love with is going to be this Amika and it is a undone texture spray. It's not a dry shampoo, it is just a texture spray and it gives you lots and lots of volume. I did receive this free from Influencer to test out to review and I just completely fell in love with it so I'm so glad that I was in that box box for Influencer and was able to test it out but I use this every single time like I'm going somewhere, going out, anytime that I need a little bit of volume in my hair it just does the trick. I believe this retails for $23. You can purchase it at Sephora. I still have a little bit left so I'm hanging on to it as long as I possibly can. When I do run out, I will be purchasing it from Sephora so I can keep it in my routine. Okay, Amika. Real quick, I just want to share with you guys my perfume. It's Aqua by Giorgio Armani. This is like my go-to. I wear it every single day. It's very hard for me to try to jump into a different type of perfume because this just smells amazing. Actually, I don't even have any on right now. Let's spray this. Oh God, I just love it. Every time I wear this, I always get compliments. People are always asking what perfume am I wearing? It's funny because every time I go to work, especially when I'm going in for like my night shift, they can tell that I'm there just by the smell that comes into the store. So my brother actually bought this for me years ago for a Christmas present, at least like five, six, maybe seven years ago. And I have been wearing it ever since. Do you purchase it from Sephora? I always kind of wait and look for because sometimes it's like in a gift set and you can get like this, the roller ball, and like the lotion that comes with it as well for basically the same t price as this. And this big bottle is, I believe, $92. Try to make it last as long as possible, but I go in on my perfume, you guys. Like, I am not even afraid to tell you that, but this is very good perfume. Very quickly, I want to show you guys my favorite makeup wipes. I found out about these, I, can't, I don't even remember, but these are at Costco. It's like for $12 and you get like 130. They're really soft on the skin, they smell really good. They're just my ultimate favorite. The thing that I love most about these is the price point. You get like a couple different packages that come in 30, so it's not like this big huge box. Great for traveling. If Costco was ever to like discontinue these, I would just be like, what the hell am I going to do? It's funny because I have a group of girlfriends, there's 11 of us, and we call ourselves the Bishes. Every month, one Bish is in charge of planning a Bish date for us. So we basically started doing that so that we could just see each other at least once a month. It was really cool. I think it was back in February this year that Chrissy, she um, thought it was a cool thing to do like our three favorites. So what you did was you had to get one item that is your favorite. You had to get three of them. It had to be six dollars or less. We kind of like drew names and, and at the end of the bitch day I went home with three different products that I haven't tried or never used um, so on and so forth. This was what I brought as far as my favorite. If you guys haven't tried Try these, take your ass to Costco and purchase them. I'm telling you, you will not regret it. 
Okay, sticking to like the skincare type vibe right now, I do want to show you guys my favorite tanner. This is from Tarte. It is Glow with the Faux Foaming Self Tanner. Honestly, like I was never one to fake tan or do tanning lotions, things like that. Over the summer, I just wasn't out at my pool as often as I wanted to be, so I needed to have that summer tan, because I love having a tan. That's like my most favorite thing all year long, summertime tanning, being out in the sun by my pool. Tarte came out with this earlier in the year. Just watching like their tutorials and demos of putting it on and how it looked, I had to try it. So I purchased it, and I absolutely love it. It it's like a mousse texture. It does come with the mitt. I'm not showing you guys the mitt because it is very dirty and no, we're not doing that. Yeah, I can do my whole body. It's not like a super crazy like, oh, she's totally fake tan today. It doesn't look like that at all. You can actually build it up to intensify the tan as you want. What's cool about this also is that like you'll put it on your body only needs a couple minutes to dry and then you can put your clothes on but you don't want to take a shower for like six to eight hours I usually won't take a shower until the next day so I take a shower I exfoliate the whole body um, put this on run around the house a little bit naked for uh, it says only a couple minutes but I do it I don't put clothes on for at least like 30 minutes or so to let it all dry put some clothes on there's like no transfer whatsoever on my clothes that I've I've encountered and then the tan stays for a few days of course it's going to eventually wash off I believe this is around like $39 but you get this and the mitt that applies it on your skin I don't think you will be disappointed if you were to purchase this I do think they have a mini one too so if you want to try it out get the mini first I don't know I just went in and got the full size next in our skincare this hand food by soap and glory oh my god it just smells so amazing I actually gave this as Christmas presents to a couple of people this year it's my favorite like your hands feel super moisturized they don't dry up after a while the biggest thing I love about it is the smell of it it's just yes I love it you can find this at Target I believe this used to be six dollars and I think the price has jumped a little bit I think it's eight dollars now but still it's the bomb. Next, we have some Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Cream. You guys, um, I know this is very, very expensive. I think it's like $48 for this container right here. Mine's like pretty much out. Like I'm just trying to savor every last bit of it that I have. When you put it on your under eyes, I'm telling you, your under eyes just feel so hydrated and cooling as far as like minimizing like lines on your eyes I think I would have to be very very consistent because I don't use this every single day I mean I'm not rich so I can't use it every single day but when I do have time to really do a full skincare routine on my face which is usually like my days off and things like that I will use it more so at nighttime after I take a shower put this under my eyes do some oil which I'll show you guys next for my face and then just let it all marinate into my skin overnight wake up just feeling oh, refreshed skin's feeling refreshed it feels great I don't love the price but I do love it so much next up for some more skincare is Tarte Maracuja oil and I don't know if you can tell but girl this bottle has been through the ringer and we are pretty much out and I'm savoring every last drop that I have in this but this is a facial oil it just helps with everything like it helps your skin stay hydrated it helps with clearing up your skin as well I don't put this on like in the morning and then put my makeup on. I like this to marinate on my face when I'm sleeping at night so it's part of like my nighttime skin routine. I will take a shower, I'll get my bye bye under eye under my eyes and then I will literally like soak my face in this oil. Um, I'm not frugal with it whatsoever. I go in with it. Just chill out, you know, let it marinate into the skin, go to sleep and I'm literally, I wake up in the morning and my face just, it looks good. It and it feels good I just wish it wasn't so expensive I believe this bottle right here is $48 as well or somewhere around that price point what I have found that helps me a lot is when you can get it in like a little skincare set from Tarte or on Sephora when I do run out all the way which is very very soon I will be purchasing 
another one because I just I don't think I can live without Tarte it. Tarte did come out with a like super size bottle which is like double the size of this and it's $64 so I'm just debating on if I'm gonna get this medium size guy or if I'm gonna really go all the way in and spend $64 on a big ass bottle of it. So glad that I tried it earlier this year and it's just been part of my nighttime routine. Next I want to show you Ol Henriksen. God, I don't know if I said that right, but whatever. Now, I just recently found out about this from Desi Perkins, a balancing force oil control toner. So basically, you get out of the shower, face is clean, and then you just put this on like a, not a cotton ball, but those little cotton ball pad thingies or whatever. Put a little bit on it, and you literally put it over your entire face. Um, well, I put it over my entire face, or you can just put it on areas of your face that that you feel are breaking out. I've only been using this for a couple weeks, but I am madly in love with it. I really have noticed a difference as far as all my breakouts because I've been having a lot of breakouts recently, and I can just tell, like, especially in like this area, it's starting to clear up. All the breakouts are starting to go away, so I know that it's starting to work, and I'm just really excited. Got like a little set of this with a moisturizer and a cleanser because the full size bottle was sold out when I was trying to buy it and I think the full size bottle was $26 and literally I purchased this and the next day I got the email that the full size bottle was back in stock. I'm like really? Once I finish this off I'm probably going to purchase the full size just to keep it in my routine to keep my face nice and clear and fresh. Before we get into some makeup items I have to share with you guys my favorite sunglasses of 2017. I mean, you can only guess that they're Key Australia, right? If you guys haven't seen my Key Australia collection video, I will link it down below. Make sure you guys check that out. I show you all of my sunglasses that I have from Key Australia. I want to show you my favorites. My all-time favorites were, were from the Key X Desi collaboration, and they were the On The Lows, which is these ones right here. Oh! But these are called the On The Low 2. It's got the tortoise frame has a little bit of fade going to the bottom but I just love the flat top right here in my uh, Key Australia video I'm, t I'm talking about please bring the on the lows back bring them back bring them back right maybe a week or so later they launch an on the low too uh, which was the original frame launched these as well and I'm like oh my god so my, my first on the lows broke, but I still have them because I just couldn't like let them go. I ordered the original again and I ordered these for sure. Favorite. 2017. There have been so many collaborations with brands this year with beauty influencers and I've purchased quite a few things from collaborations. I have one favorite collaboration from the entire year and I couldn't just pick one or two items from the collaboration. I have to choose the entire collaboration because I bought the entire collection. It is the Desi X Katie Dose of Colors collaboration. We have lip gloss, lipstick, liquid lipsticks, we have highlighters, and a little quad eyeshadow palette. Now, the gloss is just to die for. I use it quite often, actually, and it's like halfway gone already. I should have doubled up and got two. Two liquid lipsticks. You got like this dark purple color called Sauvage. Oh, hot fire right here. Just like that bright orange color. I love me an orange lipstick especially in summer and springtime then you just have two nude lipsticks one is no shade which is a lighter nude the darker that is called more creamer please then you have your two highlighters we have fuego right here which i use most often probably almost every single day no matter if i'm going to work going out whatever mita may which is more of a darker highlighter for a darker skin tone but i actually love this one as well too and i use this quite often for like an inner corner highlight which now I'm realizing I don't even have an inner corner highlight on right now <sighs> what the hell we have the eyeshadow quad these are all shimmers I just love their thoughts throughout making this entire collection Desi Perkins and Katie are my two favorite youtubers pretty much of all time I know I've only like been watching YouTube videos for almost two years. I think that they put so much thought into it and when you look at it as a whole you really are just able to see Desi and Katie. Like BFF goals, just goals in general. You go girls. I love Dose of Colors. I love Desi. I love Katie. 
why not? Next up on the favorites list is the Stila Glitter Liquid Eyeshadow. Can you believe it? When I purchased these, when they came out with this little collection, I did not even realize like how much that I was going to love these. If you've been watching me, you know that I love glitter. When I found these and tried them out, how easy it is to apply and how quickly you can do like a super glittery pretty eye look, I fell in love. Like who wouldn't, right? Oh, see it? You just literally put this on your lid and you call it a freaking day. I've used every single color of these. They have way more of these glitter and glow liquid eyeshadows. I'm not rich, so I have to kind of like pick and choose my battles. <laughs> Sometime soon, I will be purchasing some different colors. My favorite glitter product of 2017, right here. We have the Tarte Clay Play face palette. I'm picking this as a favorite because this middle one and this bottom, I mix these two together for like my contour. I love this palette because there's so many options. You can do like super soft eyeshadow makeup. You got dark colors in there to do a smoky eye. And then it's literally like every single bronzer contour color that you can think of that you would need in a palette. This retails for either $43 or $46, but if you think about it, I mean, it'll last you a very, very long, long time. I guess I'm really doing it, you guys. I can't believe that I'm picking this for my one of my best in 2017, but it is the Jaclyn Hill palette. I wonder how many people will actually have this in their best of 2017. I don't know. But I just had to because when I'm when I think back about every time I go to do my eyeshadow, what is the palette that I'm always reaching for most? Or if I'm doing my makeup and I'm using another eyeshadow palette or other eyeshadow colors, I somehow always end up opening this up and getting at least one color out of there to use. When it's like that, I get you have to put it in your best of 2017. I could just take and travel with me, and I don't need any other eyeshadows or shimmers. I mean, of course, I'll take my, my glitter. You got every kind of shimmer color you need, every dark color that you need, every transition color that you need, and then some pops of color in there if you're feeling a little feisty. It just has everything, and the best thing is that it's super affordable price. I just think that like every person needs this palette in their collection. If you haven't purchased this, go get it, and you'll thank me later. I have to share with you the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter in Molten Gold. As you can tell that I have been going in on this and it is going to be out very soon. I'm hitting pan right there. $10 for this highlighter. It's super blinding. You can make it subtle or you can build it up to make it super blinding. If you don't have this in your collection, get on Amazon and order it or something. I haven't seen it in stores. Every time I'm at a Target or something like that, I always go to the Maybelline section and see if they have it because I'll just get another one just to have another one. Actually, you know what? Ulta carries it and you can order it from Ulta too. It wouldn't be a Best of Beauty 2017 if we didn't have some Fenty Beauty up in here. Okay. I forever was using my Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation and I was trying like other foundations here and there and then this came out and I can't, I just, every time I use a different foundation since I've had this, I'm just like, God, why did I use this foundation? This, it does not crease. You don't need a powder to set it. I do set it with my setting spray, like once I apply it and before I put any other makeup on, but you really don't need to set it with whatsoever. It sets itself. It's just a beautiful finish. It's just my all-time favorite. And what I really like about this is it's not a $40 or $50 foundation. It's $34. I think it's pretty freaking affordable. What it does for you and your face it's amazing and if you haven't gotten this yet come on guys go get it just try it I use shade 290 I really can't see myself going to pick a different foundation anytime soon when I'm doing my makeup especially if I'm going somewhere or trying to look super super snatched I almost forgot to share my favorite mascara can you guys guess what it is? Well, this is my little limited edition unicorn collection. Um, so I decided to show this one. Oh, it's so pretty. Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. I have been using this religiously ever since I tried it for the first time. I just love the way it makes my lashes look, especially when I'm not wearing false lashes. It gives me length, it gives me volume, it gives me fullness, it gives me everything that I need from a mascara. I absolutely love it and I definitely recommend it. Shape tape anyone? 
I mean, if you thought that the shape tape was not going to be in my Best of Beauty 2017, girl, got another thing coming, okay? I wear shade light medium. I actually have a couple other shades that are a little bit lighter, and I just always go back to this one. This is like the best thing that was ever created in the makeup community. You go, Tar. Please don't ever discontinue this. I don't know what I would do with myself. I don't know what a lot of people would do with themselves if you guys discontinued this concealer. It's the best ever in life. Okay, what's next? What is next? It would be crazy for me to try to show you like my favorites of lipsticks. Now, I'm a huge Kylie Cosmetics fan. When I first tried her liquid lipsticks, her Candy K color, fell in love. I thought Kylie um, lipsticks were the best out of anybody. But then I went and tried Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks. I will have to say that Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks are by far my most favorite liquid lipsticks of 2017. It doesn't matter what color it is, it doesn't matter what shade it is, if it's a nude, if it's a red, if it's a dark purple, whatever it is, Dose of Colors formula is amazing, okay? I mean, I could go through every single color of Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks that I have, but we would be here until 2019 trying to do all that, right? <laughs> <laughs> Dose of Colors Liquid Lipsticks, my favorite of 2017. Killing it with the formula. It doesn't dry out. It doesn't crack on your lips. It doesn't do any of that. Stays on forever. I just absolutely love that. I thought I grabbed it, but I obviously didn't. My absolute favorite color, or not my absolute favorite color, the one that I use the most because I wear it to work and it's a darker nude, not too crazy, not too much of a dis distraction for work, which is the shade Truffle. That is just my everyday go-to, put it on real quick, go to work and feel good about the color of lipstick that you have on your lips. I'm just trying to think, like, did I go over everything? I think I did. Alright guys, this wraps up my Best of Beauty 2017. Let me know what you guys thought down below in the comments if any of these products are your favorite. I have a feeling that 2018 is going to be an amazing year. I hope everybody had an awesome New Year's and I look forward to many more videos in 2018. I'm just super excited for the year to come. Let's see if it goes by faster than 2017 because I feel like every year just goes by faster and faster. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!